This is no trick of the lens. Super thin, ultra compact. The kitchen living dining room the size of an American walk-in closet. Fuyuhito Moria and his mom Yoko call this tiny, three-story single family uh, space home. Space-saving sliding curtains replace doors. Appliances tucked under counters are hidden in cabinets. Half-size sinks, oversized windows and glass doors to create the illusion of space. Shoes stashed in stairway nooks. Zenbu corner. Zenbu. Every single corner is used. Hi. Even the staircase designed to shave inches. This is a spiral staircase, but how does this save space? It's triangular, says Moria, shrinking the diameter of the spiral. What are the challenges in living in a small house, in an ultra-small house? Getting enough outside light in, says Moria, and keeping junk to an absolute minimum. The Morias only have two coffee cups in the house. While living in cramped quarters is nothing new here in Space Star of Tokyo, ultra small houses redefine small. This house sits on 30 square meters, the space where you'd ordinarily park just one car. This was originally a parking space. Moria didn't have enough money to build a full-sized house. But I heard about ultra-small houses in Japan, he says. I thought, this is doable by building the rooms on top of each other instead of side by side. This isn't just doable in today's economy, but necessary, says architect Junichi Sugiyama. Sugiyama is designing a single-family home on this small plot of land, about five steps across. That's a third of the size of the already modest Japanese home and half the cost. What percentage of the business now is ultra-small houses? They make up about 70% of our business, says Sugiyama. But he says it's not because people want these tiny homes, more that fewer people are able to afford a standard-sized home in a stagnant economy. Moria spent about 500,000 U.S. dollars to build his home, a bargain for your own new home in modern Tokyo. But there are compromises. Is privacy ever a challenge because your mother lives with you? Yeah, it's a problem, notes this 39-year-old single man. He shares a bedroom with his mom. Six months living here, it's been a little touch and go, they both say. But at the end of the day, they are property owners. Home sweet, small home. Young Law, CNN, Tokyo.